how important the celebration is. If you guys take one thing away from this, it's just to actually pat yourselves on the back after you've accomplished something. Because being your worst critic isn't working out for you guys. Being our worst critic doesn't work out for any of us. Our brains are programmed to respond very, very well to positive feedback. So when you do something that was outside of your comfort zone, when you do something that acknowledges some sort of reward, take stock of that. Actually give your brain what it's quietly yearning, which is a pat on the freaking back. We're very, very quick to give out and bitch and moan but we need to be even faster to celebrate if we're serious about success, if we're serious about achieving our goals. The things in the middle, um, you can't see it, but it says tasks, and this is a lot of what James has spoken about in terms of the process. If you guys have weight loss goals, it is an absolute must that on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, you prepare your meals. If you guys have weight loss, performance, or health or fitness goals, it's an absolute must that you sleep, good quality sleep, seven to eight hours a night. But not even that, if you guys are serious about success, how far can you take it? These daily tasks are things that you can do on a daily basis, and yes, we are talking about that in much detail, to support you achieve, to support you succeed. So it could be something as basic as getting off the bus stop two stops earlier, to walk the legs, keep the hip flexors open, stretch, breathe. How many of you guys get the bus as close to your office as possible? How many of you guys get the dart to the closest possible station to reduce the amount of time that you have to walk? How many of you guys will drive to the shops? Who fights for a close parking spot right next to the gym? <laughs> <laughs> Think about that one for a second. <laughs> Who lives five minutes away and drives? Yes. <laughs> 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 so what we need to be thinking about is how much of what we do on a daily basis, how much of that can we turn into a habit. Our brain wants to be able to do as much stuff subconsciously as possible. So if that means that we get a bit of 10 minutes of mindfulness before our, uh, we start our day, because we've gotten off the stop two stops early, why aren't we doing that? Why aren't we preparing our food? Why aren't we drinking at least two liters of water a day? You guys are great at drinking water though, I'm thirsty. Why aren't we drinking at least two liters of water a day? Why aren't we sleeping seven to eight hours a day? Why are we still on our phones in bed? Why are we still watching TV? Why do we even have TVs? There are so many things that we can do on a day-to-day -day basis to support, to support our success. But yet we always choose the easy way. Our brains are hardwired. Our brains are hardwired for us to fail half the time. Because we always want to choose the easy option. We always want to choose the easy solution. So let's create as many habits as we possibly can. How many of you guys get stressed out in work? Get anxious? And how many of you guys practice mindfulness and meditation? Brilliant. Is, it, is mindfulness still something that's <coughs> taking you guys a while to get your head around? Do a lot of you? What is it? Mindfulness. Mindfulness is when we'll just take time out and focus on our inner. Sorry, my, I find it really hard to concentrate. We're talking about you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so mindfulness is just taking 10 minutes out to focus on our inner thoughts and on our breath. It's a very personal and internalized experience. It does not mean that you have to be standing there humming, legs crossed, with beads wrapped around your hands. I think a lot of people sometimes associate mindfulness in that way. Mindfulness is probably the most powerful thing that you can do to reduce your stress and anxiety. And the reason it's so powerful is because it could take you anywhere from two to 10 minutes to achieve. Imagine a very, very stressful day, knowing that you could take two minutes out to go into the back of the office or a quiet boardroom, put on um, Headspace if you guys don't already have it, download it, it's freaking amazing. You put on Headspace, two minutes later you feel like a different human being. We don't do that. We don't look after ourselves when we need to, but again, our brain is telling us to do these things. We're just very good at resisting the idea because it sounds like it's hard. 
what we need to be able to do is to accept these as habits. We need to be able to do it without thinking about it. Um, there was a rugby player there recently, I can't remember his name, someone I'm sure is going to be able to tell me, um, but he did a, an interview with a journalist from the Irish Times and he practices mindfulness and meditation regularly and is trying to introduce it into it's either the Leinster or the Irish rugby team. It's Tommy Vaughan. No, Kearney. 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 God, sorry. <laughs> oh. It is that powerful, guys. So if you don't have it, download Headspace. And use Headspace as one of the daily tasks that you're going to be doing to support you achieve your goals. And um, if you guys are more into deep breathing, download My Cal Beat. It's another really awesome app. Headspace is for guided meditation. My Cal Beat is for guided breathing. Just on the, on the breathing thing really quickly while Sarah's talking about.